<clears throat> Greetings, Scorpio. Welcome to your horoscope. So your Mars ruled sign, Mercury, Virgo, Mars and Virgo is retrograde, rather, in the 11th house. So we've got Mars, retrograde, and Virgo in the 11th house. So you have a lot of um, internal desire to do certain activities with your friends, you know, whether it's like leading a backpacking trip or studying an exercise club. Um, could be any of these things. We've got uh, North Node and in your second house so I think just by singing in like spiritual songs you kind of uplift yourself and your own desires whatever they are um, we've got Pluto in the third house which is transforming the environment it's saying I'm gonna make my environment a better place I'm gonna be a part of it I'm gonna have better friends better relationship with my siblings and learn how to communicate in a more direct way. So we go from Pisces time, which has been this creative bliss, heart opening love for Scorpio, into Aries time, which is gonna be like more hard work. And sometimes I think as a Scorpio, I've seen this, it's like sometimes you can be impatient with the Aries part of you, you know. Aries can be annoying sometimes because it's impulsive and it doesn't have the intuitive aspect of water guiding it you know, it softens up you know it softens up the Mars a little bit you know it's just I guess the difference is you know between being a wildfire or a typhoon you know both can be destructive you know but um, you know it's just going to be different ways that the recovery goes <laughs> um, right now though your focus is get in shape you know use your body get your health going and get exercising get going because the sixth house is about physical health it's about organization it's about spring cleaning it's about aunts and uncles small pets uh, mostly charitable causes your own health and doing any kind of service work if you wanted a government job this is a good time to apply and look into that and uh, Beyond that, I would just say your relationships are great with Jupiter and Venus in the seventh house. It's like you've got this love, love thing going on, and you're moving towards that. You're, you're moving towards a greater intimacy with the community that you interface with. 